One more free throw coming up for Orlando Minot. Second free throw is up. It's good. It's a two-possession game. 75-69. A minute 20 to go here in the second half. Right wing Exxon crossing over a right wing three-pointer. It's good for Exxon Jumbalai off the dribble. And a full timeout is called by Rich McAuliffe of Brooklyn College. Boy, what a big shot. Ice water in his veins. And now we have a three-point game. 75-72. Lehman College, a minute 12 seconds to go here in regulation. And if you're Lehman, you got to... Left wing goes to PJ, midcourt local Gist, goes to the right wing to Dylan Williams, going to the top of the key, goes to his left, crossing over, picks up his dribble, a left wing three-pointer, it's good for Dylan Williams, and we have a two-point game, and a timeout is called by Brooklyn College following that three-pointer by Dylan Williams, Brooklyn College just refuses to go away. They just refuse to surrender. 77, 75, Lehman College, 55 and 8 tenth seconds to go here in the for us. Yeah, right now, that was the first field goal, by the way, for Dylan Williams, who was 0 for 8 before that three-point shot. So you have to credit him for having the confidence in spite of his 0 for 8 start to take a three-pointer down by five points with under a minute to go as Lehman College leads Brooklyn College 77 to 75, 55.8 to go in regulation. To the back quarter goes to Brenz, goes to the mid-court local, to the left wing, pressured by Giss, bounce pass and stolen away by P.J. Stolen by P.J. It goes to Giss, who goes to the mid-court logo, 43 seconds to go. Lehman College leads by two points. Jamel Giss at the mid-court logo, setting up the offense, guarded by Brenz, mid-court logo Williams, guarded by Miller, goes to the top of the key, jump shot is up, in and out, no good. Rebound mutates, fight for the ball, a possession arrow. And it will go right back over to Brooklyn College. What a play by P.J. Jumbalai to fight for the ball to cause that possession arrow. And Brooklyn College with 25.9 to go will get the ball back, trailing 77-75. Lehman leads by two points. There is no shot clock. And a smart play to not go for the foul after the rebound, to tie up the ball knowing you had the possession arrow in your favor. Right corner Gist, right wing Dylan Williams holding the basketball. And we have a foul called on Lehman College on Sean Miller. And Lorenzo Williams will go to the free throw line to try to tie this game up. He will get two foul shots. The third personal foul called on Sean Miller. Probably not a... a Dumb foul, though, by Miller, because now what this is going to do, even if, if Lorenzo's able to tie it up, Lehman will have his chance at one last shot to win it. Williams, first free throw is up. It's good to cut the lead to one point as Nicholas Grasso will check in for Dylan Williams. Another defense-offense substitution. Lorenzo Williams in this game with 21 points and 12 rebounds, shooting 10 out of 11 from the free throw line, a 79% free throw shooter. Second free throw is up. It's good. We are tied at 77. Lehman goes from right to left. Shot. There is no shot clock. Brooklyn College just refused to go away the entire night. Brooklyn College in this game trailed by as many as 23 points with about 10 minutes to go. Lehman College possessed a 59 to 36 lead, but back came Brooklyn College, started by Lorenzo Williams, then came Exxon, and then later Dylan Williams, knocking down a huge three-pointer. And that's the power of this team. Everybody can pick each other up. And now they have to show off their defensive skills. They need to stop right here if they want to force overtime. 15 seconds to go. Just play straight up defense as the game is tied at 77. And it'll be Lehman College basketball. Sean Miller will inbound in the front court. 15 seconds to go here in regulation. The referee gives Miller the ball at the right baseline. Midcourt local Brenz holding the basketball. Guarded by Giss. Ten seconds to go. Picks up his dribble. 
Goes to the right baseline, Manat goes inside, lays it up, and in! Orlando Manat scores! And the inbounds pass intended for Lorenzo Williams is overthrown, and Lehman College with a two-point lead will get the ball back. That pass was too quick from P.J. Jumbalai intended for Lorenzo Williams, and it goes out of bounds. Lehman College with a two-point lead and the ball with 6.3 to go here in regulation. Sean Miller to inbound in the backcourt as Brooklyn College is showing pressure. Inbound pass goes to Brandon. He's fouled immediately by Jamel Gist with 5.5 remaining here in regulation. Brooklyn College was looking for a traveling call up at the top of the key before the shot was made. Borderline as to whether the call should have been made. Usually late in a situation, if it's not an obvious call, the referees will usually let it go. Brenz will get two free throws. Brenz, first free throw is up. It's good to put Lehman College up. 80 to 77 with five seconds to go here in regulation as Dylan Williams checks in for Nicholas Grasso for Brooklyn College. John Brenz will try to make this a two possession game as Lehman College leads 80 to 77, 5.5 seconds remaining here in regulation. Brenz takes his time, free throw is up. No good. Rebound PJ. Up the court. It goes to Williams. Off the back of Miller. Stolen by Brenz. And there's the buzzer. And Lehman College survives the Brooklyn College Bulldogs comeback. They hold on to win. 80 to 77. A very gut-wrenching loss for the Brooklyn College Bulldogs as they have fought valiantly the entire night. Coming back from 23 down to tie the game at 77 but Orlando Manad scored for Lehman College to put them up 79-77 with six seconds to go. And then there was a turnover. The pass intended for Lorenzo Williams goes out of bounds. And then Brenz goes one for two from the free throw line for Lehman College. And now Brooklyn College, they tried to get the ball up court to Lorenzo Williams as PJ got the rebound off the second missed free throw. But the pass went off of Sean Miller's back, and it was stolen away by John Brenz, and he just held the ball as the buzzer sounded, and Brooklyn College has now lost two games in a row. They are now 9-2 and two on the season, and Lehman, on the other hand, improves to seven wins and two losses, their sixth consecutive victory, and most importantly, they improve to four wins and no losses in the CUNYAC Conference. Brooklyn College falls to three wins and one loss in the conference. You know, but when you're looking at this game, I think if you're the Brooklyn College Bulldogs, for Coach McCall.